Good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy, Dude Dan, and you're back at it again for another episode of V-Duck. If you're new here, V-Duck stands for vlog every day until Christmas, which just means that I make a video from December 1st through December 25th, Christmas Day. I say all that to tell you guys that today's episode, I will be having my windows tinted on the C8. A good buddy, Zach and Cody, with exact window tints, actually exact customs now. So all they really have to do is three windows. I mean, there is technically two more pieces of glass, which is back here but I don't think I want that tinted. And back here, which I also don't think I want tinted, because you can't really see in through there. I need to clean this thing, it's so dirty. <laughs> Sounds like they're here. Good morning. Dude, how you doing, man? It's too cold, yeah, it's too fucking cold. Oh, look at this. That thing's dirty, don't look at it too hard. Yeah, lots of it. How you guys been? I know it's only been like a week since I seen you guys. Are you guys cold? Good, I've been, I went ahead and put on the heat. Nice. <laughs> they forgot the tint. <laughs> I'm not putting you guys on blast, I'm just letting, because now we're heading to their shop because uh, it's 30 minute drive for them. They drove out here, so I'm gonna head and we're gonna go to y'all shop and do it at y'all shop. I haven't been to the shop since you guys have done all the work anyway. I've been needing to see it. Yeah. So we'll use that as an excuse. I'm sorry that you guys had to drive all the way out here just so no, I could drive out there. It was nice. No, yeah, let me pull this thing out. We'll get going. I forgot the tent. <laughs> oh my God. That is like the most, that is the most, <laughs> that is the most them thing ever though. I love these guys. Huh? How dark were you trying to go on it? I don't know. Cause it's like, it's hard to see out of as it is. Yeah, very hard to see out of. What do you think? These are like, 30%, 32%. I wanted to go darker than this on the sides though, for sure. Or maybe maybe we do the windshield first and then go from there. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Yo, and just like that, we're on an adventure, man. This is how everything goes. People always are like, man, I bet it's so much fun to hang out with you and do stuff. And uh, it depends, because nothing, and I do mean nothing, ever goes as like one, two, and three. You know, it's never as simple as A, B, C. If life, simplicity, is the alphabet, my life is algebra. Not in a bad way, I don't want you guys to think that, uh, that I'm mad or this is a bad thing, it's just how, it's just how everything goes. It's something as simple as, as going to McDonald's with me could take three days because of the way things go, the way things progress. You believe in vibes? You, you guys believe in energy? Some people have told me that I have very chaotic energy. Good energy, but chaotic. Nice. Ah, eh, well, you know, what can you do? Yeah, buddy, get in that laurel. me you guys look busy That's sick. <laughs> I always bring you the cars when they're the most dirty you ever notice that dirty. what do you mean I dirty <laughs> this is the clean oh. side this is the clean side you should look at the other side look how dirty dang man you guys got some cars in here it's <laughs> the jet skis and like the old trucks and stuff started to look like my shop. No, they like literally drove 30 some odd minutes to my place. And he goes, hey, we forgot the tent. And I was like, let's load it up. <laughs> let's fucking go. I was in disappointment. I just laid on my car. I'm well, like, cause like I knew it was a 30 minute drive to your shop and then a 30 minute drive back. Yeah. I was like, fuck that. We can just get it knocked out of his shop. But I want to show you some photos I took of your car when I got over the. Ooh. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's so sick. Yo, that's actually really cool. And it we're looking at the fucking. Yeah, so oh you can. Oh my god. So it's like, it's the Note. There's the fire hydrant out there. It's the Note 20 Ultra. Oh. Look how clean that. 
That's the cleanest this windshield will ever be. <laughs> the windshield never gets any cleaner than when you guys clean it. Oh, shit. Um, so satisfying. Yeah, on that side, so mm -hmm. we pulled it out with the come along last night. <laughs> yeah. and now I'm doing my hood dump. External wastegate. Yeah, we still have yeah. straps on my Dude, phone. Dude, fuck yeah. And so, his car's been told like twice, but it still lives. So. Hey man, if it runs, it's good. Cutting and welding these, put it straight out the hood. Oh, you guys stacked. like a tractor flap? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I really want to do that like that. That'd be so fun. Do a tractor flap, bro. Doing any sort of manifold work on a car like this probably sucks. It's actually not that bad on this car. We got this out of the car, out of the R32, into this. Total labor time, maybe like three and a half, four hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus. It was like within a span of a couple of days, like fucking around, this and that, you know, but like total yeah, labor. Like, awesome. This terrifies me. This this wiring setup that you have. Oh, dude, that's that's like... Oh, oh it's, it's mid. Not, it's, it's mid. mid. <laughs> He's been playing Operation with the needle nose for a while. Facts. He needs to put like some like duct tape or yeah, that shit. Yeah, I literally like... At it back. wouldn't start and so the four injector was just stuck open so we were trying to start it and it's like it got to the point where you turn it there's so much fuel that the piston wouldn't even move yeah so we fucking pulled the spark plug out and literally just cranked it it was fuel and wham it was busting the flag <laughs> <laughs> like it worked <laughs> homie Bruce just left his clutch before I grabbed the garden hose and started gardening that shit <laughs> yeah Kina <laughs> what how'd you get that plate <laughs> holy shit how the fuck did you get the Akina plate? That's awesome. This thing is mint. It's even like the the best champagne too. Dude, it is. It's so clean. And she slides it too, man. It's dope. Now is this is this just like a front core support? It's actually a little bumper guard and it also acts as a uh, jack point too. Oh shit, that's yeah. smart as hell. It's dope, yeah. Whoop, whoop. There goes the sound of the police. The $2,000 bucket seat. <laughs> OMP? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Look at that steering wheel. I don't want to open her. Uh, yeah. No. S13 Chrissy, you got a, you got a dope car. Hey. hey. <laughs> 19, so he's got a 20% on there. Really? Yeah. That's 20 already? Yeah. Maybe once the windshield gets done, it'll look really dark. Cause, Absolutely, yeah, because I mean, you can see the lighting coming through that front windshield, man. And you're not even worried about this, right? Yeah, because like, I kind of like being able Isn't to look at the a engine. window that's right here? Yeah. Okay. Would it be easier for you guys if I take the roof off? Um, no. Okay. Just because we want to minimize like anything that could like come down and settle while we're like installing. So we only have one side to enter, nothing that comes through. Yeah. It's the little things that It's matter. the little things that count, yeah. buddy. Oh, you can barely see the red of the... the Mm. <laughs> that shit don't sound like Fast and Furious. I don't know what do. So you hear it already? Like Sounds so good. This just sounds bang. I'm about to blow these guys' I'm minds. See the they don't know what this thing is. They don't know what I'm about to pull out of here. And I'm telling them it's the only gun that you've never seen on anything other oh, than Oh, this is gangster as fuck, dude. Not this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it works. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, dude. dude. I'm telling you, everyone's like, was like, what kind of gun is it? And they list all these crazy guns. I'm like, you've never seen any one of these unless it's been on Call of Duty. Either Bro. that or like. Ooh. Ooh. You ready? <laughs> people, people always make fun of me for being short. I'm five foot nine. Look what five foot nine is on the ruler. 69 inches exactly, baby. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm the perfect fucking size is what I am. <laughs> Going like this. That's what I need to do. Can, do you need help? I'll help you. Do you just, yeah. what's up with that lip action? You gotta taste the tent, make sure it's not expired. <laughs> I'm doing it right now because your, your brother went to go poop and it's been like 30 minutes. It's really, really good. It's actually like 
Yeah, I'm losing a shit. He goes, I'd be like, yeah. Move <laughs> the website a little bit, clean a little bit. Uh, what he's, happened? Where'd he go? He's uh, back in bumfuck Elberton. Man, that sucks. Yeah, we're gonna get him back out here soon though. Good. Dude, it's awesome because like we get like these little like little reunions with the Japan homies. And yeah. Yeah, you know, like a couple weekends from now, I'm gonna have like uh, like my homie Keegan, my homie Matt, and Jamar, like. We were a little crew back in Japan, man. That's your, that was your, uh, your Japanese squad that you ran with? Yeah. I can't wait to see Fuck It Send It again, man. He re responds to my stories all the time, man. He sends me messages. I, I like that he keeps up with me. Oh, yeah. So, Jamar, he's, he's a solid dude. Like, all my friends here are, man. Like, it's fucking awesome. Like, everybody I can just trust 100%. We always have a great time, you know? You're walking a little sideways, man. How's that poop? <laughs> oh, dude. So much better. So much better. <laughs> All right, time for me to roll, get my water bottle, say goodbye to these nice gentlemen. Look at these guys. Look at these, this squad of good people. Oh, dude. Later, man. Thank Thanks you so much. You, Thank you yeah. so much, brother. Good seeing you again. Yeah. Pleasure meeting yeah. you. I know I just said goodbye earlier, but I gotta, I gotta say goodbye for the camera because that's Second what it is. Second goodbyes are the best. So I only had the windshield tinted because it turns out that the windows were already at like 19%, um, which the numbers don't really mean anything, you know, they're like horsepower numbers, but at the same time, this car is already so hard to see out of as it is. So I ended up, like I said, just doing the window at 20% as well. Uh, so it's all the way around 20%, which is different than the layered on layered five on five that my truck has that they did uh, because those are much bigger windows. It's much easier to see out of, stuff like that. So thank you so much, Zach and Cody, for again, knocking out another vehicle for me. They've been so good to me and they've always treated my vehicles with such, such respect. If you guys aren't already, please consider using them for your window tinting services, especially if you're in the area. <laughs> I just made it home. I really could have gone. I, I'm gonna do the windows on the side soon. I should have done it today. Kicking myself for not doing it today. But that windshield looks pretty good. I think if I do the uh, windows a little bit darker, but I'm sure Zach and Cody will be stoked for me to come back and do more window tint with them. I'll go on and hang out with those guys anyway, so it kind of just gives me another excuse to go hang out with them soon. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today's episode of V-Duck. I'm gonna end it here. But right before the end of the video, I've been doing this thing where I talk about one thing in my office that I think is really cool. And today's episode is this poster. I get a lot of questions about this, actually. Uh, a lot of people are like, man, is that the scene from Jackass with Ryan Dunson behind the plane? Uh, no, it's not. And I think it's funny to get those comments because I do have like a, a younger fan base. And I say that knowing that I wasn't even around when this ad ran in 1980. Uh, my dad actually wrote Maxell back in the day. They used to make, uh, they used to make cassette tapes amongst other things. This was one of the ads that they ran back in like 1980 or 1981 and my dad wrote them a letter because that's what you had to do back in the day, they wanted to email. He wrote them a letter. I would like to purchase one of your ad posters and they just sent them one. Uh, one day I was at my parents' house in the garage and I said, what are you gonna do with that with Maxell poster? And he was like, I don't know, I don't really care about it. I said, can I have it? And he's like, yeah. So I got it framed, I got it uh, mounted and framed. Nobody has anything like this, you know, it's kind of cool. But uh, that's where I'm gonna end today's video guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.